Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and I really didn't want to make another video about fucking Dark Knights, but I guess I kind of dug myself into a hole here. There's a thousand fucking comments on every single video I've made addressing Dark Knights, and people are trying to question my uh, credibility now at this point. So I have no choice but to defend myself. I'm going to defend myself through a video that Rinku made. Now Rinku wasn't necessarily talking about me in this video. I don't think he was or he never even mentioned my name or addressed me, but he has talked about me in the past. He has said certain things about me in the past that I feel the need that I need to address here so a lot of people start to understand where I'm coming from. The last video that I made about Dark Knight clearly was a lot more aggressive and things like that, but it was clearly it clearly worked for me it just got a lot of people riled up and that's honestly what i like to do i like to get people riled up i like to have controversy that's fun for me that's what i love to do as a youtuber salt mining it's my favorite thing to do but obviously there comes a time when you have to be serious and when you have to honestly break things down for people so everyone was complaining in my comment sections in my last video saying that i'm speaking to people like a child my audience like a child i wasn't speaking to my entire audience like a child i was speaking to the people that were speaking to me like a child in the same way they were speaking to me it's kind of like you know uh fight fire with fire kind of thing but here i'm just going to talk to everyone like they're adults including rinku we're going to start from the beginning with rinku's credentials to even be discussing this pvp information rinku is a pve or he already came out and admitted this he doesn't pvp he only pves he said on his own live stream that this was going to be a buff for him as a pve -er because he's going to get to move from mobs faster he doesn't know about a pvp buff so that's the first thing I'm sure after that he went and researched before he made this video and made and made this video because he includes Doki 3 which is a dark knight on Korea who came through and said a lot of things. Now, first of all, I'm not going to say Doki 3 is trash or anything. I don't know much about him, but all I know is that this video is not indicative of anything of a dark knight considering he's dashing around while no one is trying to attack him. No one is trying to attack him, okay? No one is trying to attack this guy he's literally dashing in the arena if you play pvp you know that this means nothing this video means nothing okay nothing at all you can dash around in an arena all day that doesn't mean that you're fucking invulnerable all right so let's go through this video and see what rinku had to say and uh we're gonna reply to it really quick dark knight correctly i don't think i can even call this a nerf So if you want to see the full video of this Korean Dark Knight who also believes that this is a Dark Knight buff, please check my description. It'll be the very first link. Doc B deserves way more views than I'll ever get. So please check them out. They teach me a lot about Dark Knight and then I just kind of like preach to you guys in English, I guess. So I guess now we'll like go over some final thoughts and I think that's all I have to say about the Dark Knight update. Alright, so here are my final thoughts on the three changes. The first one, we lose one iframe on the forward dash. It is a nerf, 100% a nerf. There's nothing good about that. All right, so there's a nerf, like I said. But you should never engage with that skill in PvP, and as long as you don't engage in PvP with that skill, you won't notice the nerf. So yeah, if you don't use the ability in PvP that makes you have infinite iframes, you won't notice it. Uh, duh, that's the point. This ability is the ability that gave Dark Knight's infinite iframes. They no longer have them anymore. They have a window where they have to stop using iframes. I really don't understand what's so hard to understand here. In the, in the time frame it takes for your sideways dash to get off of cooldown, you are vulnerable. Don't you get it? The only option you have is to either run away or use an attack that has a block on it at that point. You're vulnerable. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. The cooldown on the sideways dash is five seconds. So that means you have five seconds in between your sideways dash to which you do not have any iframes to be using. How do you guys not see? You have five seconds. Five seconds. Before, you had none. Now you have five. Or four point whatever. How do you not see that as an as a nerf? How in the world can you not see that? I'm not even trolling right now. I just don't understand how you can go from having unlimited iframes to having limited iframes and say it's not a nerf. That doesn't make any sense. 
It's because you can move faster. Do you understand that there are other classes that can move fast too and that can catch up to you and CC you while you're in the middle of that un iframed dash? Please, please explain to me. I'm not, I must not be understanding something. And this footage I'm showing you, this Dark Knight is still very good, very fast, able to participate in fights. Looks like she still is a big problem for these guys, but she doesn't have the iframes anymore. As you can see, she's getting hit through her side dashes from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time, she's getting hit through her side dashes. She's getting hit through her iframes, and she's taking damage that she would not have been taking if she was playing pre-patch. And also, please take a look at her stamina bar whenever there's a lot of chaos going on. Her stamina bar is very low at times. That's because, you know what? You know why? Because stamina matters. Stamina is a resource you have to manage in this game, and until now, Dark Knights never had to worry about stamina at all, and now they do. So that is another nerf, okay? Now, nerf doesn't mean the class is trash, but it is a nerf. Notice the nerf, so don't worry about it. Now, the infinite dashes does not take away anything. It just adds more dashes to Dark Knight, which is insanely OP. Like, the fact that we can dash more and more and save better cooldowns for better things is insanely a buff. There's no one that could argue that it's a nerf. It's clearly a buff, and in my opinion, the buff outweighs the other two nerfs completely. But but how can you... So you're trading mobility. You're trading mobility, so you're getting higher mobility for the ability to never be hit. How can you... How, how, how can you... How can you even find that as a good trade i just don't understand man i'm so confused right now once again let's check out the footage okay now you could you can say that this dark knight is bad and he doesn't know how to play whatever but at least he's actually getting hit by something in this video okay so this is pretty pretty so you could see it right there okay he used the dash if it was na he wouldn't have taken any damage he took damage okay he took damage if it was a cc he might have died this this is this this stuff matters. This kind of stuff, these little things matter in PvP, guys. They matter a lot, dude. They matter a lot. There, that wasn't an iframe, but still, they matter a lot. Okay, you guys gotta understand that. You guys gotta understand that these small little things make a really big difference. And not being able to be invincible forever really will affect Dark Knight. It's period. Here's another example of what I mean, okay? So as you can see here, the Dark Knight took no damage on her side dash, then it took damage on her forward dash. So once again, this is just an example, but that forward dash being out of your kit pretty much for iframes is a big deal, guys. It literally, it's chip damage that you can't avoid because super armor is not better than an iframe. Like, well, I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Well, somebody has to literally like show me a video or describe to me where I'm wrong at because I can I literally cannot see it and I'm trying right now. Like I'm trying to prove myself wrong with this video, but I just can't and I, I don't understand. Now, thirdly, this is what the whole video is about. This third thing, the stamina cost. Yes, because things now cost stamina and they didn't cost stamina before, technically it is a nerf. But the fact that we gain, it's literally to counteract the huge buff from infinite dashes. And also this video showed it is so barely noticeable that I can't even call it a nerf because I will never notice the quote unquote nerf that that it causes. So all in all, yeah. So there are a lot of classes in the game with infinite dashes with cooldowns on their iframes. So they're infinite dashes that have iframes on them, but they have cooldowns on them. There are a lot of classes like that. Some classes have dashes that take stamina, some classes don't. Uh, some classes have iframes with super armor on them, some classes don't. So Dark Knight just got added to the repertoire of classes that have iframe on cooldown and super uh, and super armor on iframes and uh stamina reduction on iframes which is absolutely fine but her being added to that repertoire of, qu of classes brings her down a peg because previously she lost no nearly no resource from using her dashes at all and now she does that that, that how is adding stamina to her resources a buff it's a resource you have to manage now that you didn't have to manage previously how in the world can that be a buff? Once again, I just want to say, I don't think that this makes Dark Knight a dead class, a trash class, a garbage class that you should re-roll. I just think that she has 
weaknesses now that are much more exploitable than they ever were and this patch just made dark knight more balanced does that mean that she's trash that you should never play her again no but i never said that i never said that once i think that dark knight is still going to be a great class as you can see in this video this dark knight is doing just fine but he is taking much more damage than he normally would a situations where he's playing in the way that he played probably his whole dark knight career the game and we probably deserve a nerf this was not one of them if some child on the internet claims that they know how this game works and that the Dark Knight change is a nerf when they don't even main Dark Knight, well, I guess that tells you something. While I'm still a kid, I still understand that the game was literally developed so that way you don't know everything about the game. That is the reason why there's still tests being put up on Reddit that are literally game-breaking tests that are still being discovered to this day. There's still so much to discover about this game. A lot of people have no idea what they're talking about, including myself. However, I only look at patch notes, videos, tests, and just evidence in the game to support my theory. I'm kind of tired of arguing whether this is a buff or nerf. I'm going to consider this a buff until someone literally shows me a Korean video of how the change is a nerf. Until you show me proof, after I've shown two videos with two other videos that I didn't even make from Korea that back up what I'm saying until you can literally disprove that theory with more evidence and facts and videos I guess this is probably the last video I'm gonna make on the topic I so I'm guessing this last part was about me first of all I never claimed to know everything about the game well I don't know where you got that from I claim to know a lot about the game or at least enough about the game to know the difference between a super armor and invincible those are two things I I, I think I'm, I'm pretty I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the difference between those two things and I know that one is better than the other okay so you I just showed the evidence that you wanted to see in this video, okay? This video is perfect evidence for you. You can see a Dark Knight taking way more damage than they normally would. You can see her stamina bar reaching astronomically low levels when she's actually being attacked by something rather than just dashing around in an arena. You can argue that she's not playing well, but you have to give her a benefit of the doubt because, well, the patch just came out. It takes time to readjust, but the fact that she's still playing in the way that she used to play and getting punished for it should show you that this is a nerf if it wasn't a nerf then she wouldn't be getting punished she'd be just fine the fact is she's not able to play in the way she used to be able to play because your class got nerfed once again not a trash class not the worst class in the game now but it was a nerf it needed a nerf definitely like you just said and it definitely got one okay and once again, I am I agree with you. I'm tired of talking about this shit, but I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to talk about this video. This shit is crazy. OK, so that's it. I've supplied my evidence. I've said my statements. I don't understand what I'm missing. That she has another iframe that I don't know about. Can someone please tell me? I'm so confused. Please, please help me, please.